with approximately 310,000 newly diagnosed cases and 41,000 deaths each year, the chances are that everyone in this room knows someone who has been affected by breast cancer. Mostly due to advances in early detection, the 15-year survival rate for breast cancer has risen to 78%. Unfortunately, advancements in treatment have been sluggish by comparison, still heavily relying on chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, all of which have some pretty nasty side effects. Our laboratory is investigating an alternative treatment, one that enlists the body's own immune system to fight the cancer. Normally, you don't want your immune system to attack your own cells because this can lead to autoimmune diseases like type 1 diabetes or multiple sclerosis. But because cancer is essentially your own cells run amok, a special type of autoimmunity is precisely what we want to induce. Our approach has been to create an autologous, dendritic cell-based therapeutic vaccine. Autologous means that an individualized vaccine is created for each patient from their own dendritic cells, which are just a special type of white blood cell. And our vaccine is termed a therapeutic vaccine because you can only receive it after you've already been diagnosed with breast cancer. My slide depicts the manufacturing and administration of the vaccine. The process begins with drawing the patient's blood. Then we separate out the white blood cells from everything else. We grow these cells in culture, allowing them to mature. Then we teach them how to recognize the tumor cells and activate them so they can do their job. Finally, the activated and dendritic cells are injected back into the patient. This vaccination method has been tested in phase one and two clinical trials with a 67% overall response rate and 18.5% of patients demonstrating pathological complete responses. In these trials, patients who are diagnosed with breast cancer via mammography and biopsy are enrolled, a vaccine is manufactured from their dendritic cells and administered to the patient once per week for just four weeks. The disease regression is measured by examining the residual tumor which is removed surgically following the course of vaccination. So that pathological complete response rate means that the tumor is completely gone at the time of surgery in almost 20% of patients. While these results are promising, we aim to do better. To this end, my research specifically focuses on combining our vaccine treatment with other mild drugs in an attempt to elicit an enhanced response. To this end, in the test tube I have shown the vaccine combination with tamoxifen, an FDA-approved drug for the treatment of certain types of breast cancer, leads to increased tumor cell death in a subset of previously minimally responsive breast cancer cells. And our colleagues have shown in a second clinical trial that this combination increases that pathological complete response rate from approximately 18% to almost 30%. Thank you.